Welcome to another edition of A Pro Racer's Take. I'm Andy Pilgrim with Automobile Magazine and today we are at Virginia International Raceway and we have two real deal race cars behind me. The Ford GT LM car and the Ford Mustang GT4 and I'm going to get to drive both of them on track today. It's going to be a good one. First up for me is going to be the Ford Mustang GT4 race car. It's a car we've been racing against, or I've been racing against, the last couple of years. I can't wait to try it. Helping me out, get into the car, get situated with the buttons and things, is Billy Johnson, Ford factory race car driver and one of the Multimatic crew guys. So great guys, very, very helpful. Knocked it in, you see the paddle shift clearly there. Uh, knock it into first gear, getting ready to roll. Now what you're going to see is some stuff at the front of the car so we could sort of get a lap timer based on the start and finish line and you're also going to see some in-car footage of me at various places. Here we go, coming into turn one on the brakes. You can really see some of the bumps. It may look like it's really bumps but the DSSV uh, Multimatic shocks in the car do a really nice job of damping everything. Coming into NASCAR bend love this corner again the shocks really have to do a good job here really working through turns four and five coming up to the snake area heading to the uphill s's now love this part of the racetrack it's very fast you come through here in like a c7 corvette you know stingray really good car you're probably doing 115 miles an hour i'm close to 140 flat through here, barely, barely a tiny lift there because I felt the back end of the car just moving away a little bit. And we're on actually get four timed laps in both of the cars and uh, this is my fourth and fastest lap that we got for you. Going through Oak Tree, shows it really well, bouncing through there as you can tell. So we're onto the back straightaway. This is a really long straightaway at VIR, you can get rolling serious speed in a lot of cars down here. Probably doing close to 140 miles an hour, over 140 miles an hour. Coming into the brakes on the Bosch ABS is working superbly well through here. 14A is really slippery corner as we enter into roller coaster. Down into the hog pen area. Bang on with the top of hog pen through the curbs, down into the hog pen. Out of there, slides quite a bit through there. And onto the straightaway. And we ended up with a 1 minute 56.5 ish lap for those of you interested in these things. Had a great time jumping out of the car there. Had needed to give Billy his adapter back. <laughs> I had a European wiring on that helmet. Had a super time on that. This is great fun. He was smiling, I was smiling bigger. Now into the Ford GT LM. I mean, look at this thing. It is an amazing looking race car. It was such an opportunity to get to drive this car. That's Ryan Briscoe, another of the Ford factory drivers that drives the GT LM car. And uh, I was using his insert. You see me <laughs> moving around. It wasn't exactly super comfortable, but you know what? For four laps, I'll be fine. We don't complain. And here I am leaving the pits after my initial stall, very professional, got myself going. Unfortunately, there is no front footage for the GTLM, but we thought it was interesting enough just to keep the uh, camera on me running around. So here I am coming into turn one. This is my third lap. Fourth lap was held up. Unfortunately, I caught up with the GT4 and I had to back off on the fourth lap, which should have been my fastest lap, but this is okay. This is good. Running up to turn three. Again, love that corner. Coming into turn four, it's a tight left-hander, and then we come to this five, six, seven complex. Unbelievable amount of grip from Michelin tires, and the shocks just superbly tuned over these bumps. I could use as much curb as I did in the GT4 car. It's quite incredible as we fly up towards the uphill S's. And I can't believe how quickly the right hand, watch the right hand turn, look at that, into the uphill S's. You had to turn this car so quickly. It goes over 150 miles an hour through there, through turn 10. That's a tricky turn. You've got to basically go in blind in a car like this. It's so low. So coming up to Oak Tree, very, very tight right hand. You can hear that kind of sounds like a bit of a misfire. It's not. It's the anti-lag system on the car that keeps the boost up. And that's what makes that, that staccato kind of noise before I get fully back on the gas. Coming down the straightaway, flipping through the gears here. 
They did turn the cars down for us, uh, about 100 horsepower according to what Ryan told me. And you can see me disappear there from the front, but to sink down into the seat under braking, that was pretty good. Coming into the roller coaster, and then we got hog pen. I felt the most G-force in my neck at the bottom of hog pen, I must be honest. Right there, and accelerating through there, the compression, it was, I felt that in my neck. And it was not that it bothered me, but I could feel it was a lot of G-force. And then we're onto the front straightaway, ended up being about a 147 uh, is what it was and there we go thanks so much to ryan briscoe for the help with the gtlm car and also to billy johnson for the help with the gt4 car also multimatic crew thank you for the work on the gt4 and also to chip ganassi race team for the super help on the gtlm car what a great opportunity. I have to say thank you so much to Ford, Ford Performance for giving us, me and the other journalists, this opportunity to drive these wonderful race cars. We might not get to see the GTLM car again unless a private team grabs it, but I look forward, hopefully, to racing against the GT4 Mustang in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of A Pro Racer's Take. <laughs>